like that. But if you have at least three candidates, you're going to have somehow collect scores from everybody. And everybody does this a little differently. Um, there is no way to do it within Zoom. <coughs> you can create a poll, but a poll is, um, which, where's this poll? I don't know. Oh, maybe it's because I'm online. So usually, like when you use the app, there's there's an option you can create a poll. But the poll just really just kind of, it's like a vote. So, um, so I don't know that I would recommend it for the, for this piece, but you may like have them do Google form or you may have them give you actual paper forms. And then if you do any of those kinds of things, you're gonna say, why don't you guys take a break, get away, you know, whether it's lunchtime or whatever. And then we're gonna reconvene back here at this time. And that, at that point I can get all your score sheets and I can have everything tallied. And then, um, and then that's what I do. So then they usually go to lunch or something like that, whatever, whatever it is, or, they're they're happy to have that hour to return some emails and some pages and things like that but make sure that they come back and then um and they can like mute everything and, and stuff like that they don't actually have to leave the room and they come back and they do your discussion based on however your format is in your program and then it'll be like okay thank you blah 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 we're done with the day and then you can say end and then end meeting for all so that in um in the gist is how you do uh how you do breakout rooms for the interview purposes um i have a few resources that i'm actually going to share along with this video um, with everybody for some things on like recruitment templates and um and other various links uh, other webinars that have been done that gives you a more bigger overview over zoom um, some sample templates, some of the things that have worked well for other people. I've just done this so many times that I just have my methodology of the, the way that I do things. Um, oh, good, here's one. So this is one of my sample itineraries. This is actually one I've already marked up that, sorry. Um, this is one of my sample itineraries of how I set things up. So as people come in, as the sessions end, you can see I hash cross off everybody. So I know everybody made it to the right rooms and, and things like that. Um, I, I know I'm extremely tech savvy person and I know not everybody is. So um, so I do, so everybody has their kind of own way of doing, doing these sorts of things. Um, there is some various, um, things that have been shared and one of the most popular things that I have noticed that have been shared I'm going to share it on the screen here in a second is um is like creating a little script for yourself if you're if you're somebody that is maybe like very OCD very type a and you just need to have a script for yourself because you just don't want to lose track um you can uh I'll share I'll share this in the documents um hold on let me share screen again Okay, and it looks like this. So, um, so in this folder here is uh, overall interview tips. I think that's the ones I made. Um, this is the original um, Zoom that I did back in April, but it's an overview, not just of um, virtual recruitment, but also of like how you use it for um, conferences and various things. Um, this is some other tips from somebody else that they did. Then you have organization. Um, this is probably where you're going to like really find the most useful information. But here is the script I'm talking about. So one of my colleagues here, um, she uses this script. So she literally is just telling herself what she's going to do, when, where, what, how, so that she can go through her list, have it printed out and just cross off. I've done that. I've done that. I've done that. So, um, so it's just like a script for herself. If you have like a type A type of um, program director that was like, I just need to know what's going to happen when blah, blah, blah. And then um, you can give them a copy of this and then they'll, they can be like, oh, okay, I feel better. Once you get into it and once you do it the first time, you will realize that it's not that bad. Um, um, some other sample documents in here are um, organizing the day. Um, this is a good one. This is a sample, um, sample introduction email to the candidates, I believe this is to, um, yeah. And so it tells them step-by-step uh, step what they need to know for the day. So they did it social sessions, they did interview sessions, 
Um, there is uh, videos here of how they do things. Um, I may even, I'm not even going to talk about the video. Um, these are things that uh, you need, they need to know, but they usually already know them. And then you'll say your information. So I'll share all this with you. It's, I know this isn't my document, but they made it shareable. So this was based off of a panel that we did with um, OB group. And the last group is PR stuff because we, we did do a focus on like um, how to kind of handle PR and videos and that sort of whole thing. And like I said, I'm not going into that. All right, so that should be everything. I will share this all on the GME Facebook group as well as the PWS um, listserv and with links to this document and to um, to the GME Facebook group. For those of you that aren't members and would like to become one, the GME Facebook group is a group of all coordinators. It's around 3,000 coordinators across all specialties, even those not accredited by ACGME. And there's even some ACGME international um, coordinators on there as well. So it's a great group to get information about literally anything that you might need within your world of uh, the coordinators. And there's tons of documents, resources, ideas, discussion on all types of topics that are shared um, daily. So I will share that with you if you would like to join. Just when you join, remember to answer all the questions. So I know that you're not, because we try and protect the coordinators as much as possible. And we want that it to be a safe place that coordinators can talk amongst other coordinators. And um, so we limit, uh, we, don't, we don't allow DIOs in or program directors or associate program directors. Even if you think the group is really cool, don't invite those people <laughs> to our group. We do have a secondary group that is for leaders that's a newer group. And so we're um, encouraging people to join that group. And vice versa, we don't allow coordinators into that group for those exact same reasons. We want them, we want it to be a safe place for the directors. Um, there are a couple of us that are administrators of both groups um, that we that we like cross share things that we think are useful to each other. So don't worry that you're not, that you're missing something there that can't, that you're not getting in the other place. All right, so that's it. Um, I will also share my contact information if you have any um, questions and, and things like that. We are doing um, several practice sessions a week. Uh, they're, they're happening every Monday, Wednesday, Friday, at um, 6 p.m. Eastern time and 10 a.m. on Saturday uh, Eastern, or let me fix that. The Saturday sessions are at 1 p.m. Eastern time. Not very good with time, so, so I had to think that through. So um, those links for those, um, those sessions will also be shared in the same email, so you have all the resources together. Okay, well, thank you very much. I appreciate you uh, joining us.